feel the love. I honestly have never been so nerve, like so nervous standing behind that curtain. Did you have to come out of the curtain like that as well? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. I, I was a still. Oh my I, God. I was a, a caesarean. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wheeled him out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You know, all day my family have been like, are you going to be really nervous going on? I'm like, I'm on with Jason and Brendan. I'm not going to get a word in, so it'll be fine. No, it's all good. <laughs> no, so you will, you will. Look, you're, you're, you're here to talk about this. This is, yes. uh, this is 50 hikes around Ireland. This is a proper shift. We were talking during the break that our job isn't really a job. No, this, no. Is, this is a proper job. Well, I don't know, could you call it that as well? Mm. I've been very privileged to actually get to create a book on Ireland. Like, we are very lucky with our outdoors here. So um, getting to go around and shoot that now, I did have to climb the hikes 20, 30 times each to get the shots, but uh, wow. it was absolutely incredible making it. And like the people you meet along the way, and it's not just hikes, there's also food stops, swim spots, really incredible places to visit near that area. So when you go do the hike, you can have a full day itinerary afterwards as well. So hang on, so look, whenever you, uh, you go out on your walk, do, do, do you want to be left alone? Or do you like bumping into to random friends? Or how does it work? Depends on the mountain, actually. Yeah. You know, if you're like just climbing up the top of Carantoon and you're absolutely in bits and someone comes over and goes, you're almost there. You're like, go away. But um, <laughs> I think in general, I absolutely love meeting people, um, especially when I'm out hiking alone. Because, you know, being out hiking alone, it can be nice, the solitude and all that. But also, if you're an overthinker like me, it's nice when someone breaks that up and comes over for a chat. And I've met some incredible people hiking around Ireland that you, you just you, wouldn't get anywhere else. You met, you met a farmer who uh, was, wasn't maybe dressed in a, an expected way. Now, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. It was a heat wave. And I came to, <laughs> I came to the top of the mountain in Nathan in Mayo. Yeah. And he was up there in his speedos. And I said, fair play to you. You know what, fair play what? to you. And, and yeah. was, was he up there on his own or what, did he have he any... He had his two dogs with him. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Wow. That's even worse, that's even worse. No, no, no. no he, he said he climbs the mountain every single day. In his speedos? I don't know about that now. As I said, it was a heat wave. He had a great tan as well. Um, and there was no tan lines, so maybe, actually. Oh. <laughs> we actually, uh, well, we actually knew you were coming on, and so we decided to, to contact him. Oh. And uh, oh, nice we have uh, he wanted to send you a, a special, special little picture. Here he is. Uh, here's the. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, was it? Was actually me. <laughs> yeah. Very <laughs> good. I, I actually, I was only actually, fans. I actually, I actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I swung out on a wrecking ball for the Royal Variety Show, right? <laughs> this is a true story. On the Royal, on the Royal Variety Show on a wrecking ball, and in the rehearsals, this fella came up, because I was in my underpants, like, like Miley Cyrus now, and he said, I'm, I'm very sorry, but we're going to have to double up your underpants. <laughs> he said, right, he says, Charles can't be looking at your lad like that while you're running. <laughs> <laughs> As so, you see where you keep your spare socks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that goes up around the back there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they all? <laughs> oh. Welcome to Yin Yendo there now, Rob. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so, so you know sorry. What? Does that picture say for the whole time? Are you a hiker yourself, Brendan? No, no, I'm not a hiker. I was never uh, the adventurous kind. Um, I, I don't like water. I don't like... I'm not a swimmer. I, I don't trust water. Uh, you I, play golf? Yeah, I love golf, yeah. One of the hikes goes through a golf course, so there you go. Oh, which course? Um, in Hope. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, so yeah. I'd say a little section, Is be that careful. Keep an ear out if you hear anything for hold, hold <laughs> when you're walking along that well, section. That, that, yeah, that, that part of the hold is beautiful, beautiful. to walk. It's absolutely yeah, yeah, stunning beautiful. We're so lucky to have it so close to Dublin city centre as well. Yeah. yeah. But, but I mean, obviously, you know, your favourite, I'm assuming, was, was the Mourne Mountains. <laughs> I do. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do love the Mourne Mountains. And there's four hikes from the Mourne Mountains in there. And they're they're all so, boring. That was a big, that was, that was, <laughs> that's a lot for one so mountain range. Check this out here, look, look. There you go. We got a little uh, there. Yeah. Oh wow! So that's See? up in Schlieve Binion. Yeah, that's yeah, Binion. One of the best hikes in the morning. It's absolutely stunning. It's an incredible loop. It's also dog friendly. And great thing about the mornings are they're really well marked for people. And there's fantastic, you know, parking and lots of beautiful restaurants and cafes around as well. So I'll have to give you the nod on that one, Patrick. That's Binion. absolutely. There we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you say, when you say, I love the hiking. 
When you say dog friendly, are there, are there hikes that aren't dog friendly? Yeah, there's a lot of hikes that are dog friendly. Yeah, they like, can't be there, 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 there are some that are not <laughs> dog friendly? Yeah, because um, in Ireland, like a lot of the hiking land that we walk through is private land, and it's people and farmers who've been really, really generous to allow us to walk through their land, their place of work. So a lot of the hikes can be not dog friendly because there might be farm life there, and you know, yeah. or also yeah, could sheep be, or whatever. Yeah, yeah also yeah, it could yeah. be a really dangerous hike, you know, mm. that it could just be not safe to bring your dog. So yeah, um, you just have to respect those rules so that you know we all. We all have to respect the land we are walking across, and there's a big part of that. How do you know the... when you're... Is there some warning that you have that, you know, no dogs? Get the book, it'll tell you. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <Tell me that. laughs> I did the Cumbria challenge. Have you done the Cumbria Mountains? Oh my God! So I, I lived like 20, 15 minutes from the Cumbria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20, 20, 24 four miles. Wow. The Cumbria challenge, right across. Jason and is the, on and the lads that did it, they're, they're all they're, book. yeah, they're all Waterford lads. You know what I mean? These yeah. are lads that are just tough. They're born tough. They come out tough. It's just all like that. And I go, does this take long? And they go, no, no, you'll be all right. Just, we'll be all, we've been over in no time. Oh my God! 14 hours later. <laughs> Oh my I'm God. only halfway across nearly, and then there's a then a miss comes in, and they're like, "Oh, right, go slow. Why? Because you could go off the edge and die. <laughs> so uh, take Cumbers, your time." The Cumbers comes from the word coom, which is mean they're all corrie lakes. So when you're walking through the Cumbers, there's all these big dips of corries full, like oh my God. full of lakes. So there you go. Well, me and all me and Brennan heard was the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> God, we, we have to congratulate you. Yes. Uh, on, oh. on getting engaged. Yes. Thank oh. you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well done, <Roz. laughs> what, did this take place up a mountain or? Well, Cliffs ah. of Moher, which yeah, is awesome. Lovely. Um, yeah, lovely. And yeah, the Cliffs of Moher, it's it's a lovely coastal walk. It's, it can mm. be rated beginner because you can do a 25 kilometre section or you could make smaller sections. So that mm. day we actually only did a very small section. Mm. We got off the visitor centre. So it's only about a kilometre to a lovely viewpoint. Do, so do, I can't say I did the whole hike that day, but. Do, do, does, uh, does he like hiking or? Uh, yeah, Zach loves hiking. Um, sometimes. Just as well. Yeah, just as well, exactly. <laughs> now, the first time we went off hiking, he's gonna actually kill me for saying this. He fell so many times. I almost didn't go on another day because I, he, <gasps> yeah, oh well, God. he got, he pretended he was into hiking at the start because he knew I loved it. So he was like, I'm also really into hiking. But um, yeah, he's really, really gotten on board and he plans all the hiking holidays now. And yeah, he's. Uh, have you set a date yet? Or? Um, no, we really, really wanted to get married um, as soon as possible. Yes. Um, so a lot of my family oh. members and, um, uh, would be there, but um, <laughs> what is this? What you know is going what you just said there. The whole nation's going. Why as soon as possible? <laughs> no, sorry. oh my god, sorry, no, 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 no. 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 Don't, you don't, don't even go there. No, 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 no. I'll just congratulations. Leave that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I've yes, got, congratulations yeah, on, on the book, book on, on your baby book, book, on the book, and nothing else. And nothing else. Uh, OK, uh, stay with us for, uh, for just a little bit. Uh, best of luck with Thank the you. engagement. Yes. And nothing else. <laughs> uh, and the book, Roz's book, The Hike Life is in Shops Now.